Hello, good evening. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello. good evening. Hi, how are you doing, Genaro? Fine, thank you. Okay, perfect, Genaro. That's nice. Uh, Genaro, can you greet another classmate? What? Puede saludar a otro compañero de clase. Vamos a repasar de entrada los saludos. Acuérdense que dijimos que ahora íbamos a practicar los saludos que estudiamos ayer. ¿Cuáles eran los saludos? How are you today? ¿Qué más recuerdan? Hello. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. Okay, you are a little bit tired. Nice. ¿De qué otra forma podemos preguntar how are you que no sea how are you? <laughs> how are you today? How are you today? Okay, another? Uh, how are you doing? How are you doing? Excellent. Another? How is everything? How's everything? Excellent. How's everything? Another? How's it going? That's another one. How's it going? Okay, so vamos a practicar. Eh, necesito que participen, ¿verdad? Quítense la pena, enciendan la cámara, practiquen, interactúen. Para eso es este espacio. All right, let's start. Um, I'm going to start and someone else is going to continue. Um, let's see over here. I have never heard someone. Harrison. How's everything, Harrison? Hello, Harrison. How's everything, Harrison? Harrison? Hi. Hi, Harrison. How's everything? Es un saludo. El saludo, así como saludar nocturnamente. Ajá, le un saludo estoy... formal. Ajá, man, le estoy preguntando cómo está todo. How's everything? ¿Cómo uh, me respondería? And I'm fine. Fine, ok, uh, perfect. Fine. Excellent, Harrison. Ahora pregúntele a otro compañero. We have Verónica, Mario, Walter, Genaro, Aníbal, Ronald, uh, Esmeralda, Elena. You have plenty of options there. And hi, Walter. How's everything? How's everything? A quién? Uh, Walter. Walter. Okay, Walter. How's everything? Your microphone. Perdón, perdón, ya, 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 ya voy. Oh. Ter terrible. Terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Walter, uh, continue with another classmate. Ahora pregúntele a otro compañero, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo está todo? ¿Cómo está hoy? Eh... Ah, permítame que se me perdió esa parte. Puedo pasar y después voy. Okay, no worries. Let's continue. Veronica, how's everything? I'm pretty good, thank you. 
Excellent, Veronica. Continue with another classmate, please. Ahora usted pregúntele a otro. Es como una cadena. Okay. Usted pregunta a otro okay. Y Mario, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Hello, Veronica. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, perfect. Ask another person, Mario. Se fue Mario un ratito, nos dejó verlo por ahí. ¿Qué se hizo Mario? Okay, I'm going to continue. How's everything, Isaac? How's everything, Isaac? Isaac. It's, it's good. Good. Okay. Nice. Okay, Walter. Walter levantó la mano por ahí. Okay, okay, ready. Eh, ya, eh, Susana, how are you, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing. Uh -huh. Let's repeat, don't worry. How are you doing? Repeat. How are, how are you doing? Susana? A little bit tighter. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. All right, uh, let's continue with today's topic. Well, yesterday uh, vimos los saludos. Eh, acuérdense que vamos a practicar los saludos todos los días. Así que vamos a darles una leidita. Y esto igual que lo otro que estuvimos viendo. A ver quién recuerda qué más vimos ayer. El alfabeto. El alfabeto. Ah, ya, yeah, ya me estaba preocupando. No me llega la señal. The alphabet. Ah, we studied also the alphabet. And that is a very important part of, um, of our English, right? So um, we're going to watch the video. So because we're going to continue practicing the alphabet, uh, we're going to make a review. And also, no sé si ya lograron este grabar sus eh, con la aplicación. Por ahí dicen que sí. Ok. Aquí se les explica cómo van a, a grabar sus audios para luego um, hacer su post aquí en la discusión. Ok. Let's continue with this. I'm going to share the sound of my computer. Ok. Ready. Hi, everyone. In this class, we're going. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. So we're going to listen and you can repeat at home so we can continue practicing one more time. To learn the English alphabet. We'll do this by listening and repeating. Let's get started. Um, on the screen, you can see the English alphabet. I would like for you to listen to me and observe the way I move my lips and my mouth for each letter. A, B, A, B, e, D, E, F, G, A, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, I would like for you to listen to a quick audio program and repeat. 
it's recommended that you practice as many times as necessary, 10 at least, and make sure that you are pronouncing correctly. Listen and practice. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, what I would like for you to do is to practice expressing your name and spell it out. For example, my name is Joe. That's J-O-E. Now let me go ahead and write that. Uh, my name is Joe. And we're going to spell it out. That's J-O-E. My last name is Sines. Okay. And let me go ahead and spell it out. That's S A E N Z. Spell the names of at least ten folks. For example, your children, wife, parents, etc. I'll give a quick example of that. My daughter's name is Allison. That's A L L I S O N. And record yourself on the following website bookroo.com. As for that, you should save it and share the link on the discussion forums. The idea is to get feedback from the instructor and your peers. Let me show you uh, how that website works. If you go to this website, bookery.com, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the new window here, a new tab. Um, you will see the website. Uh, you should click on this icon that says click to record. It's going to ask you to connect to your microphone. You go ahead and say allow. It's recording at this time. Once you're finished recording, you click stop. You can listen to it. And um, after you do that, you can save. On click here to save. It's going to give you this link. And this is the link that you're going to copy. And then you're going to share this link on our discussion forums. Okay, that was the video. Uh, so you know, well, this is what we practiced yesterday. Now, let's see how good are you at the spelling at this moment. I hope that you have practiced the alphabet because we are going to continue working with that. All right. Um, let's see. I have my presentation ready. So I'm going to move this up here. Okay. Okay. We watched the video. We practiced how to pronounce the letter. Uh, now, yesterday, remember, we were practicing spelling, and in this, we're going to practice asking the question. Remember, this word is pronounced spell. 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 Okay, now, let's ask 
someone over here. Sarita, Sarita Portillo. Are you there, Sarita? Sarita, can you hear me? Sarita. Hello. Hi, Sarita. How do you spell strawberry? Um, How do you spell strawberry? Se recuerdan que es spell, ¿verdad? De letra. So la pregunta es cómo de letra. How do you spell strawberry? Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah. It's S. Why? Ok, why? Por ahí más o menos lo escuchamos. Ok, remember, it's S-T-R-A-W-B-E-R-R-Y. That's strawberry. Ok, uh, do I have a volunteer for the next one? Mario. Ok, I have Mario Hernández. Levantó la mano. Let's see, Mario. Okay, how do you spell elephant? How do you spell elephant? Okay. E L E B H I N T. Ah, okay, más o menos. Let's repeat. Solo hay una 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 vocal. Baja la mano. L E B H I A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Mountain. Mountain. How do you spell mountain, sí, Elena? Permit, please. O. O. La U. Um, you. Can you, can you say N me? N the, again? Ok, voy a silenciar. ¿Elena tiene problemas con el audio o, o no está lista todavía, Elena? Yes. Okay. Eh, Monte? Yes. Eh, ok. M-O-U-N-T-T-A-I-N. Eh, Okay, good job, Elena. Very good. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Elena. Um, do we have another volunteer? Other volunteer? Daniel, Daniel Palacios. How do you spell waterfall? Uh, w A T A A R if A L L. Okay, thank you so much, Mario. Thank you so much. Just S F, okay? F. The, okay, very good. I think that's the last one. Uh, oh, I have another one. Susana, I have your hand here. Susana Sorto, how do you spell earrings? E A R R I M G S. 
Okay, excellent, excellent job. Okay, I see that. Today you shine bright like diamonds. <laughs> La hicieron excelente, brillante. Remember, this is practice. Así como encontramos estas palabritas por ahí, como se dice fresa, cascada, como se dice montaña, busquen palabritas, pónganse a deletrearlas. Y eso les va a ayudar mucho. O los nombres de sus familiares, como les pedía en el video a uh, Mr. Sands, eh, pueden buscar nombres de sus familiares y empezar a deletrearlos para que vayan eh, adaptando esa fluidez. Ok. And that's a good tip. Now, uh, to continue, we have a topic for today. El nuevo tema que vamos a ver ahora is the famous, the very famous verb to be. What do you remember about the verb to be? Me acuerdo que pasábamos todo el año con el mentado verbo to be. Ser usted. Que sí? <laughs> yes, cero estar. Excelente. That's it. Cero estar. Uh, why? Eh, significa ambas cosas. Ok, cero estar. ¿Y qué más se acuerdan? ¿Eran cuántas formas? Tres. Ajá, tres. <ríe> ¿Cuáles eran? Am, um, is, are. Ah, ok, excelente. Nos tuvimos que haber graduado en verbo to be en tercer ciclo porque solo eso mirábamos, ¿verdad? El famoso verbo to be. Y bueno, a mí me así lo aprendí también, me costó, gracias, pero al fin lo dominamos. Ok, dependiendo del sujeto va a ser am, um, is, are. Significa lo mismo. Am, um, is, are significa cero estar y lo utilizamos dependiendo del sujeto y lo como lo canalizamos dependiendo del de contexto. Por ejemplo, if I say... Ok, ¿qué estoy diciendo acá en la primera? If I say I am a student. Yo soy un estudiante. Ok, excelente. Yo soy del ser. Ok, I am at home. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Yo estoy en casa. Ajá, ok, yo estoy. Entonces, por esto es que se llama ser o es porque significa, lo podemos usar de ambas formas, dependerá del contexto el significado, ¿verdad? Ser o estar. I am a student, I am at home, right? Um, vamos a empezar con el tema este y si hay algo por ahí que se me quede, ustedes me pueden decir. Ok, there is a, a, a video, está el video en la plataforma, sé que algunos no lo han visto, algo otro sí, para los que no lo han visto, pónganle doble de atención y para los que ya lo vieron va a ser como un repaso. Uh, for that, I'm going to share my screen with you. Let's pay attention to the video and then I'm going to explain Voy a explicar más y voy a ampliar el tema. Por eso es importante que siempre, siempre, siempre usted esté en las clasecitas, porque aquí es donde revisamos el contenido de la plataforma y lo ampliamos. That's what is important. Y también ejercitamos. Ok, here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Si se escucha, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use are. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use 
is. So um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. And we're going to say he is. Um, uh, mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. Uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there. How are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example: Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change uh, now. Instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here.
and there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Is He a mechanic is is he at work are they my co workers? Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. All right, that was the video. Now, let's see, what did you get from the video? What can you mention? What did you get from the video? ¿Qué me pueden decir del video? What did you understand? ¿Qué le entendieron? Only one? Buenas noches. Hi, good night. Good evening. <laughs> okay. Las formas correctas de, de plantear oraciones y preguntas. Excellent. Uh -huh. So, vamos a estar viendo cuál es la forma para hacer oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas utilizando cero estar. Y esto es bien importante que desde el principio lo vayamos, no solo lo vamos a ver ahorita, lo vamos a seguir viendo, vamos a repasarlo, porque es importante que desde este punto ustedes tengan bien claro cómo formar oraciones con el verbo to be, porque es parte del presente simple, pero no, no lo podemos mezclar con lo que viene más adelante. Uh, so it's important to learn it by heart, and we're going to exercise it. Y como les decía, vamos a ampliar un poco más. Eh, ¿Cómo ampliar un poco más? Ahí vimos cómo hacer eh, oraciones afirmativas y también este, uh, vimos un poco de cómo se hace la short form. Eh, se dice short form o la forma contractada, ¿verdad? Eh, como decíamos al principio, el verbo to be, so am, um, is, are, son las tres formas o las uh, en las cuales eh, se divide el verbo to be, siempre significa lo mismo. Eh, dependiendo del sujeto o de la persona, es que vamos a usar am, um, is, o are. Uh, for example, if the subject is I, uh, si el sujeto soy yo, es con el único que se utiliza am. Um. Esto nos va a servir únicamente con I, utilizamos am. Luego con you, we're going to use are. He is, she is, and it is. Ok. Um, con él, ella y el it, que lo usamos para cosas, ello o eso, eh, con eso usamos is. Con los plurales, we, you, and they, usamos are. Ok. Uh, les voy a mencionar algo y tienen que tenerlo en cuenta para los siguientes ejercicios. Eh, I se conoce como primera persona singular, que soy yo, I. Singular y plural is very important. You está, digamos, dos veces, pero no es que se repita. Acuérdense que you significa tú y también significa ustedes, dependerá del contexto, ¿verdad? Eh, you como tú 
se conoce como segunda persona singular. He, she, it se conoce como tercera persona singular. Eh, cuando sea tercera persona singular, poniéndole atención a singular, tercera persona singular, usamos is. Ya les voy a decir por qué lo repetí tanto. We, you, are, and they, we use are. ¿Ok? Y aquí está el significado en español, ¿verdad? Para los que les ayuda a saberlo así, aquí se los he puesto. Yo soy, yo estoy, I am. Tú eres, tú estás, you are. Él es o oh, él está, he is. Ella es o oh, ella está, she is. Y así sucesivamente. Como les menciono, por cuestión de que tenemos bien poquito tiempo, lo que pueden hacer es tomarle una foto con su dispositivo o una captura con la pantalla. Eh, la forma corta es muy utilizada al hablar, por eso el inglés se escucha como que hablan muy rápido. Este I am se pronuncia am en forma corta y lo escribiríamos así. I am am. Ustedes pueden repetir en casa. I am am. You are your. He is his. She is she's. It is its. We are where you are your they are there y para formar oraciones afirmativas utilizando el verbo to be lo que vamos a poner primero es el sujeto luego am is are lo cual es verbo be y luego un complemento Vamos a poner estas oraciones en el orden correcto. Let us put the sentences in the correct order. You can do it in your notebook. Lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno. Les voy a dar un par de minutos y vamos a hacer la primera juntos. Let's see the first one. It says mechanics are Mario and Paul. ¿Qué iría primero? El sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en este montón de palabras? Mario and Paul. Excelente, eso sería el sujeto, Mario and Paul. ¿Qué va después? El verbo to be. Are. Ajá. Are, ajá. Y por último. Complement. El complemento, ¿qué sería? Mechanic. 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 Entonces nos quedaría Mario and Paul are mechanics. Eso sería el orden correcto. Mario and Paul are mechanics. Ahora vamos a hacer las siguientes cuatro. Les voy a dar un minuto para que pongan ahí en orden. One minute. Let's follow the structure. All right, uh, finish. No yet. Yes. Okay, Veronica, can you give us this one? You are at home. Excellent. You are at home. Excellent. Thank you so much, Veronica. Another person to continue with this one? Volunteer? Manuel Merino, thank you. ¿Cómo le quedó eso, Manuel? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> my sister is a student. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's continue with this one. Let's see, Ronald Melendez. I am a good student. Excellent job. I am a good student. And a volunteer for the last one. Me queda una más. Volunteer. Aníbal. Thank you so much, Aníbal. Aníbal, turn on your microphone. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Ok, parece que... Ok, Aníbal, ahí está, ya vi que... Des, uh, ok, Aníbal. Ajá, ¿cómo no? Sí. D, al fin... Ok, D. ¿Cuál es el sub...? Mm. Esto significa el, la o las. Mm, um, Marius, let's continue. Uh, maybe Daniel can help us. Daniel, can you help us? Emotion. Mountain. Emotion are green. Excellent. The mountains are green. The mountains are green. Good job. Thank you so much. Now, to continue with this, Vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Let us complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb be. Eso significa que vamos a completar con am, is, o are. Ok, en el ejercicio anterior solo pusimos en orden. Ahora vamos a agregar am, is, o are y vamos a hacer la primera juntos. My sister and I... Twins. Twins significa gemelas. Ok. My sister and I, twins. ¿Cómo completo ahí? Sería, I am. My sister and I are twins. Ok, okay. escuché am y escuché are. <laughs> R. 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 ¿Por qué R? Porque, Porque es está... nosotros. Durán. Somos nosotros. Durán. Excelente, porque está hablando de nosotros, está hablando de un plural, está hablando de ella y yo, nosotros. Entonces, um, ahí sería R. My sister and I are twins. Ajá, mi hermana y yo somos gemelas. Si estuviera solo yo, solamente yo, entonces sí usaríamos am, pero no está solo. El sujeto son ellas, mi hermana y yo. Bueno, somos nosotras. My sister and I are twins. Ok, ahí ya nos ayudamos y esa es una pista para que sigan con las demás. Vamos a darles un par de minutos porque esas son más y hay que analizarlas. Let's continue. Hagamos la segunda también. Esta está fácil. Franco, a funny person. Franco is, is yes. a funny person. Yes, excellent. Franco is a funny person. Eso estaba fácil. Ahora continuemos con las demás y ya vamos a revisar cómo nos quedan. That movie is romantic. Has everybody finished? Terminaron todos? No yet? Yes. Okay, volunteers, Daniel. I have Daniel's hand here. Aquí tengo la manita de Daniel Palacios. That movie, Daniel, how did you complete this one? Is. Is. 
Excellent. That movie is romantic. Then I have Elena. Uy, esta es con doble L. Tall. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am tall. Excellent. I am tall. Thank you, Elena. Isaac? My father? Microphone. Don't ask. No, que no me había fijado. Perdón, Isaac. Habilite su micrófono, Isaac. Okay, Isaac. My father? My my father is a taxi driver. Excellent. Thank you so much. My father is a taxi driver. Then I have Ronald Melendez. Ronald. Gorillas are big animals. Excellent. Gorillas are big animals. Y esa es muy buena. Excelente trabajo, Ronald. A veces me dicen, ¿y por qué are? Por el hecho de que son plural. Ya son varios ellos. Uh -huh. Si fuera singular, si usáramos is. Excellent job. And now I have Aníbal, Aníbal Hernández. My cat. My cat is black. Is black. Excellent job. And the last one, Elena. Uh, orange are is delicious. Mm, orange are, or are, is... are, are. Orange are delicious. Oranges are delicious. Very nice job. Thank you so much. You're doing an excellent job. So, uh, así les debió haber quedado por si quieren tomarle una foto, como nos quedó al final. My sister and I are twins. Franco is a funny person. That movie is romantic. I am tall. Aquí se lo escribí bien. <laughs> My father is a taxi driver. Gorillas are big animals. My cat is black. And oranges are delicious. All right, that was about affirmative. Now, to make negative statements, we just add not after the verb be. Para hacer una oración negativa con el verbo to be, solamente le vamos a agregar not. Después de am, um, is, are, not. She is not, she is not. Ajá, uh -huh, and we have here, you can repeat at home, I am not, you are not, he is not. She is not, it is not, we are not, you are not, they are not. And it has a short form. También tiene forma corta, right? Y hay dos maneras de hacerlo. Son dos maneras de hacer la forma corta. A excepción de A, esta solo podemos contractar el sujeto con el B. I'm, I'm not. Aquí no tengo nada, porque hay una, pero es informalísima. I'm not. Mm. Y los demás sí tienen dos formas de hacerlo. You're not. Contractando el you con el are. You're not. O contractando el are con el not. You aren't. You're not. You aren't. He is not. He isn't. She's not. She isn't. It's not, it isn't. We're not, we aren't. You're not, you aren't. They're not, they aren't. Excellent. Questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Vamos bien? Voy muy rápido? Como vamos? Excellent. Excellent. Callamos Terrific. para siempre. Ok, perfecto. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, now let's go, in, let's complete the following negative statements. In this case, we're going to complete using I'm not, isn't, aren't. That's what we are going to put in these spaces. For example, the first one, tenemos la primera, English, difficult if you practice it. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera? English, difficult if you practice it. Manuel, Mary, no. 
English isn't difficult if you practice. Excellent. Thank you so much. And esta sería English isn't difficult if you practice it, right? And in that way, we're going to complete the rest of the sentences. I'll give you a couple of minutes. Okay, uh, let's listen to some volunteers. A volunteer for the first one, Aníbal. Okay, Aníbal Hernández. Cats. Cats are not big animals. Excellent. Cats are not big animals. Isaac, New York. New York. He's in Europe. In Europe, excellent, excellent job. New York isn't in Europe. Uh, Veronica? I am not sick. Excellent, I am not sick, excellent job. Uh, let's see someone else. Walter, Walter Quinteros. My name is in Kendall. Excellent job. Very well done. My name is in Kendall. Excellent. Thank you. Daniel Palacios. We are at work. We are at work. Excellent. Thank you so much. And the last one. Rabbit. I volunteer for the last one. 
Rabbits okay, are Walter. dangerous. Rabbits aren't dangerous. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Rabbits aren't dangerous. Good job. Now, um, you did a very nice job here, and you have the answers here in case that you want to um, record it or take a picture. And we can practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. English isn't difficult if you practice it. Cats aren't big animals. New York isn't in Europe. I'm not sick. My name isn't Kendall. We aren't at work. Rabbits aren't dangerous. And those are the answers. The next part are questions, but before we go on to the questions, I uh, would like you to um, write at least two affirmative and two negative statements using the verb be, right? Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que escriban unas, por lo menos dos oraciones afirmativas y dos negativas. Ya tienen ahí varios ejemplos, so you can do it. Two affirmative and two negative statements using the verb be. And then we are going to share the work with the class. Vamos a darles un par de minutos para que escriban dos oraciones afirmativas y dos negativas. Okay, let's listen to some volunteers. Volunteers? Okay, volunteers to share your work. Walter, thank you so much, Walter. Okay, the soccer is my hobby. Excellent. Soccer is my hobby. Only one? Solo nos va a compartir una? Okay, okay. Uh, negative. Uh, I am not angry. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. Another volunteer? Yo quiero participar, pero no puedo levantar la mano. Ah, oh, Patricia, ok. La That's opción. ok, Patricia. Vamos a ver, Patricia, díganos sus oraciones. 
um, negativa, sí, sí. I am not told my house isn't a beautiful. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation, Patricia. Ok, uh, no se preocupen, con esto vamos a ir aprendiendo y bueno, la manita aparece para algunos. ¿Usted está en la computadora o en, o en celular, Patricia? En la computadora. Ok, busque ahí en la barrita o donde le aparecen varios dibujitos donde dice participantes o participants. Sí, solo me aparece para una, le doy clip y me aparece eh, invitados. Nada más. Y al abrir eso de invitados, me aparece para abrir correo. Correo con Gmail o con Yahoo. Dice. Y a los demás, ¿a dónde les aparece? Es que a algunos les aparecen participantes y a otros donde dice más. A ver, alguien que le pueda ayudar, porque a mí es diferente. Mi, mi... No me aparece esa opción. Pero... Pati, no haga clic en la flechita, sino que donde dice participantes. Ah, ok. Sí. Tiene que hacerle en los muñequitos, no en la flechita. Exacto. Ah, ya lo uh -huh. Ah, exacto. Ahí está la manita, Pati. Hoy sí ya la vi. <ríe> ok. Uh, that's wonderful. Uh, thank you for your help, guys. Gracias por su ayuda. So we're going to stop here. Mañana vamos a repasar oraciones afirmativas negativas y vamos a agregar preguntas. Ok. So thank you so much, guys. Um, see you tomorrow. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.